Okay, today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to do a gayutaku, which is a fish rubbing. Um, the name is Japanese and it actually translates to fish rubbing and Japanese fishermen used to use it to record their catches before there were cameras. What I have is a replica of a fish, which is rubber, I believe. And I ordered this off Dick Flick. I'm also gonna use some block printing ink, a brayer, and a sheet of newsprint. Uh, the reason I'm using newsprint is because it's thinner um, and it can form around the fish. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna roll out my ink and I'm gonna roll it up on this tray. What you wanna listen for is that sticky noise. That noise tells you that there's enough ink on the tray and on your roller. So after I roll it, you can hear that sticky noise. I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm gonna roll it across the fish. Now the reason I use this brayer is because it makes sure that I kind of get an even application of ink. It takes a little bit of maneuvering to make sure that you get it all over. Now after I feel like I've done a pretty good job of getting the ink rolled on there, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this foam brush, it looks like this, and I'm going to dip it on my ink tray and I'm just going to blot the areas lightly with just a little bit of ink that I couldn't get with the roller. If you've done more than one print, it might be difficult to see where you haven't got with the roller. So if you get down eye level with the fish, you can see where it's shiny, that's where their ink is, and if it's not shiny, there's no ink there. Okay. Gayu Takyu as an art is still practiced today and it's actually considered a fine art. And there is some skill involved in this kind of printmaking. Okay, I think I'm ready. Now, um, because my surface behind here is pretty clean, I'm not gonna pick up the fish and put another sheet down. But if it was messy, like I rolled ink over it, like you can see right here in this corner, I might wanna put a clean sheet over because anywhere where there's ink, it could transfer. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my thin piece of paper, and this is actually just newsprint, and I'm gonna place it over the fish. And I'm pressing with the palms of my hands, I'm gonna rub. Okay, you wanna make sure that you're rubbing, especially on all the fins. You wanna feel for them with your fingers, and as you feel for them, you wanna press down. Okay, um, when you're finished, you're gonna peel back. And what you're left with is a beautiful Gayutaku fish print. And the neat thing after the ink dries, and this is just block printing ink, is you can go back through with some temper paint and we can go over certain areas to give it color or we can even add um, some of the details to the eye or you could take it home as is. It's up to you. And that's how you do a Gayutaku fish print.